In this problem, we're told at what minimum speed must a roller coaster be traveling when upside down at the top of a circle so that the passengers do not fall out. Assume a radius of curvature of 7.6 meters. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So imagine this is going to be our circle. And so this is going to be our passengers up here, right? So here's our the roller coaster itself, right? So these are our passengers. And so we know the radius of this circle, right? So the radius, which is this distance right here, is going to be 7.6 meters. So we know that. And now what we want to do is label the different forces acting on our roller coaster. So we know we're going to have a force going down like this due to gravity, which is mg, right? So force going down, mg, which is gravity, right? But we also have a force going outwards, which we call f sub c, right? The centripetal force. And so essentially what we know is that f sub c, right, is equal to m times a sub c. And so what this tells you is that if f sub c, or so what you need to realize is that in order for them not to fall out, m times g has to be equal to f sub c. So that means essentially mg, right, has to be equal to f sub c, which is m times a sub c. And so what you should notice is that the m and m can cancel. So essentially our gravity has to be equal to the centripetal acceleration. So that's essentially what we're going to be solving for here. And so we know gravity is 9.8, right, 9.8 meters per second squared. So essentially, our a sub c, centripetal acceleration, has to be equal to this. So they don't fall out, right? Because if one was greater than the other, then they would fall out, right? If this uh, centripetal acceleration was less than the force of gravity, or gravity, they would fall out, right? They'd go downwards because it's not keeping them up. So we need to solve for a sub c, right? And we're setting it equal to 9.8, and then we solve, right, for the, the velocity, right? Because they're asking for minimum speed. So we're trying to solve for velocity. And so you need to know that the formula for centripetal acceleration is going to be equal to v squared over r. So r is just the radius, v is going to be your velocity. So if we manipulate this, right, so what we're going to do is manipulate this in order to get it in, uh, in terms of v. So the radius times a sub c is equal to v squared. And then if we square root both sides, essentially, you're going to get v is equal to the square root of a sub c times r, right? And so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, solve, right? Because we know a sub c is equal to 9.8 because they have to be equal. So plugging it in, 9.8, square root of 9.8 times the radius, which they told us in the beginning, 7.6. So our velocity is going to be equal to 9.8 times 7.6 and the square root of that. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get it equals to 8.63. And then keep in mind, this is velocity. So it's going to be in meters per second. So the velocity is going to be 8.63 meters per second. So that's going to be the minimum speed the roller coaster is going to be traveling so they don't fall out. And so hopefully you found this useful.